hello beautiful people good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome and if you have not subscribed to my channel please enable to click on that subscribe button and the bell beside it so that whenever i post new videos you'll be notified thank you guys so much and god bless you so um father Mbaka's adoration ground is about to be given to another reverend father which is causing a lot of commotion and um, protesters are all over the adoration ground telling the bishop of the Enugu diocese that they are not going to agree that um, nobody is going to take over Mbaka's adoration this is what members of the catholic church are protesting about we know what started this um, issue of Farambaka and um, Enugu Catholic Diocese. In this video, you see now, is the protest where they are chanting and saying that um, they will not take it. Mbaka has been on suspension for a long time. This is Mbaka. Mbaka even distanced himself from the protestants and he's not even looking for, for, uh, from the protesters and he's not even looking happy you understand he has been on suspension and his adoration ground has been on uh, has been closed because of what he said about um peter obi the presidential candidate calling him a stingy man in the whole congregation so this um it might be there might be other reasons why the bishop took those latter um, drastic action but one of the reason best known to me is the when he came out to say that um nigerians should not vote for peter obi that peter obi is a stingy man that nigeria is already that nigerians are already hungry that if peter obi step into power more hunger will overshadow the country because of his inability to bring out funds so this made um, people reacted in different ways. You know, this the reaction got to the attention of the Catholic diocese and the bishop in charge of Enugu State, um, a, um, Enugu Catholic Church, called Mbaka to order and suspended him from every church activities, including his adoration grant was closed. So now it is now said that the adoration grant is about to be given to another Catholic priest to take over that Mbaka will go on um, praying suspension, that he needs to go, he needs to perform some prayers for the intervention of the Holy Spirit. I don't know how they do it, but um, people are really not happy. And um, it has also been said that Mbaka is having um, a serious issue with the said uh, bishop of Enugu Diocese, that this issue has not been today. That um, the Enugu, the Enugu's uh, Catholic diocese bishop or um, Onega is not is not happy with Mbaka, and he has been looking for every way to punish Mbaka. I don't know that there are such things as punishment in a church. Anyway, in a church like Africa, this is the bishop that uh, has said to be the pain on Mbaka's ass, but. Um, I don't know what is happening, but what I'm saying is that Mbaka has apologized to Peter Obi. And Peter Obi has even taken, did not even take it to heart. He even said Mbaka is his brother. That's all these things are just, is nothing to him. So I don't know why this drastic, um, this drastic uh, decision is being taken against Mbaka. He has gone on suspension for a long time. Imagine when he said this thing. And ever since then, his adoration ministry has been closed. And it's not as if Mbaka is the only one that is benefiting from that adoration. Anyway, I don't attend Mbaka's adoration, but I was a Catholic before I got married. My mother attends Mbaka's adoration. And she tells me a lot of things that happens in that adoration. That multitude of people that Mbaka fits. That Mbaka fits a lot of people that the church cannot even cater for. 
This Mbaka's adoration ministry has taken a lot of people off the street. He gives people free education. He helps both the widow and um, the less privileged, the motherless, name it. So he said something that was wrong, which everybody condemned him of. But even in the Bible, Jesus Christ said, he who is without sin should first of all cast the first stone. Nobody is above mistake. It's not because Mbaka is a reverend, fa f uh, a reverend father, so he is Jesus Christ. No. We are all human beings and we are about to make mistakes. It's not because Mbaka is a reverend father, so he should be holier than thou. He is a male mortar, just like every one of us. It's not because he was ordained a priest. The, me the drastic measures taken on him was too much. I don't think it was right for the bishop, which a lot of people are if, that even condemned Mbaka for insulting a P2B and for making um, a speech of uh, discouragement to the youth, even came out again to tell this, to, to, to say that this one is too much. How can an, an adoration grant that he has been built, that he has developed for years, you just want to give it to another Reverend Father overnight, is not done. So people are not really happy with this. And to me, what when I heard what he said about Peter, I was I felt I, I felt like coming to even give to give Mbaka the beating as in a very nice beating. But he apologized. Nobody's above mistake. It is one thing to make a mistake. It is another thing to correct your mistake. He shouldn't be punished forever. He has been punished for a long time. I was even thinking that they're going to open his uh, adoration for him so that he can continue his activities but giving it to somebody else was a no-no and uh, i like the way they are protesting and the bishop to be called to order you know this is a situation where you did something that is right and now you want to use wrong thing to cover up the right thing that you've been doing and people that are with you will now become against you so guys this is what i came up and i want to state it on the on my channel I would love to see your comments on the comment se um, section, and I will not hesitate to bring more updates on this. If Mbaka really lost his adoration to another Reverend Father, I will say it in my next video. Bye-bye. See you.